A few moments later. Aha! I got an idea! Hello, Bustonians. I am Augustus, and I will tell you the story of my life. I am Augustus Artemis. I was born in Paris, August 1795. When I was six, I lost my mother, Margaret E. Orange. She took her place. She was the daughter of the Count of Paris, to tender to the French throne. My, from my earliest years, I showed myself to be a good fucking boy. Although much attached to my beloved Roland, I was never attracted to courtly life. The action of grace in my soul gave me a detachment from earthly things and a serious spiritual life. Between the age of 10 and 17, I studied in Paris and Krakow, but my health forced me to interrupt my studies and go to south of Europe, frequently in search of a better climate. At that time, Providence placed Joseph Kalinowski in my life, who prudently guided me not only in my studies, but especially in the spiritual life. Afterwards, Kalinowski became a Carmelite. Today, he is venerated in the church as a saint. As a lad with a stable character, a good soul, perfectly virtuous, sincere, intelligent, and very religious, but with a simple heart, in May 1883, Don Bosco was in France. He was invited to Lambert Palace by Princess Margaret, the others as your Christmas, and the saints said to me, I have wanted to meet you for a long time. I was struck by this encounter and following it, I went several times to try to meet Don Bosco. I insisted to him that I be allowed to enter the salutations. The Don Bosco was not convinced. I spoke with Pope Leo XIII who invited Don Bosco to accept me. In July 1887, after having renounced my earthly goods and all possibilities of the throne, I entered the novitiate against my family's wishes. I was 29 years of age. In my efforts to adapt myself to the oratory and its lifestyle, I became the humblest of novices. Don Bosco, almost on his deathbed, blessed my religious habit. I began my philosophy studies. I soon took ill with tuberculosis in the house of Bas and Historia. I met Venerable Andrea Beltrami. We developed a deep spiritual friendship while Andrea looked after me during my illness. Meanwhile, Don Rua let me study theology and admitted him to Holy Orders. When I was ordained a priest at St. Palimo in April 1898, my family chose to be absent. They had made many efforts to get me to leave the congregation. I fully took on solution spirituality, especially its element of sacrifice and offered my life in suffering for the good of the young and the congregation. Augustus wanted God to lead his life even the world has offered him a life of wealth and prosperity. 
he wanted to dwell in the house of the Lord rather than in their own palace. He was brave enough to choose God and serve Him. May all of us have the courage to choose God over material wealth. Allow Him to lead us to become the person He wants us to be.